Hi there, my name is Nick Cowan, I'm the game specialist over at T3 and we're having our first hands-on with the Xbox One. So here we go. So there. But you've also got evading arrows and stuff. We've got to move! Come on! No, no, we can't! We can't stay here! Move! The idea is to get as close to these guys as humanly possible. Axes, lads! As you go up the beach, you're going to find that you've got a little bit more varied gameplay. Um, Kill them all. After this particular fight. Anyway. might know something over here, you can actually pick up a spear, right? And you can use this spear to kill people. I didn't kill him though, I just managed to take out his, uh, his shield. Which actually makes dealing with him a lot easier. Keep searching for survivors. I'll deal with them. you. 
through. Now just to show you something, if you try to spam the same attack, it doesn't work. Seriously. You can you can you can try and button bash your way through this, but you will actually need to use combos. Yeah. One of the things that we've been told, um, it won't be the case at launch, and we have to take it on trust here, is that the loading screens here take a long time. Um, you also have to install uh, every game that you put on the Xbox One at this particular juncture. Um, but hopefully that won't be the case uh, down the line. Or if it is, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll be a lot faster than it is here. Luckily with Rise though, they do give you some very, very beautiful screenshots to look at. Um, the controls take a lot of getting used to, just because they're very, very similar to um, Batman Arkham Asylum. So if you play that a lot, like I do, um, you find yourself you, you find yourself wanting to hit Y whenever a counter comes up. You can't get through this through button bashing, though. You've got you, you really have to vary your attacks. Because as you see, they'll just they'll just pop them. Also, you'll notice they're trying to push me into a corner here, and you also notice my shield's taking damage. quite hard. Every single time I, I, I get a roll going with these guys, the other one steps in. See what I mean? I thought I was doing quite well there. Watch now, he'll actually just kill me. Which I think is quite unnecessary. I mean, I was dead already. Have him. Anyway, you'll notice that whatever you do in Rise, you will, lear you will earn in-game credits, which you can upgrade after you're dead. Now, you've got skill upgrades, and you've got execution upgrade killing moves, if, 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 that's, your, if that's the bag you're into. Um, single executions. I've, I've obviously unlocked quite a few, and I don't have enough for the next level. But maybe I have something left for health, I don't know. Let's have a look. Nope, all those are locked. Uh, one of the things I don't like about Rise, um, with all due respect to Crytek, is that if you go into a section that is unlocked, and you just hammer the button, you have to notice that you say, it says buy gold. And if you do that, sends you to the store 
and it offers you the opportunity to pay real world money in order to level up in the game. I don't like that. Uh, but you don't have to do that. You can you can just grind through the game and, and you'll be alright. So let's let's try that again. See if I do any better. And once again we are staring at a loading screen. <laughs> yeah, this happens quite a bit. But you know, obviously that, that, that happened a lot faster. I think I've actually worked this out. I think what I'm supposed to do is push these guys back against these spikes on the wall. It's three hits and then go in with the sword. Right. I've seen enough. Now it's just you and you me, sport. Me exquisite violence. And what do you deliver? If I just wanted them killed, I'd have set the lions on them. Get them out of here! Well, that was pretty cool. Are you not entertained? So, come, meet me in my quarters. You want to fight for your emperor? And you shall. Just by the way, um, Rise is a lot of fun to play, but it's about as historically accurate as Zack Schneider's 300. <laughs> 